Today we're going to do the posture walk and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this intro because we want to be doing the posture walk but I want you to remember you need to have some good shoes on don't have anything sloppy like old slippers I'd rather you go barefoot than have old slippers but put on a pair of athletic shoes that's about a half an inch higher on the heel than it is in the toe put your hand inside and kind of feel that and that'll put you naturally on forward on your feet um, so we've got this going on and then we're going to do the actual walking and it's going to incorporate just a few moves in that walking that's going to help you with your posture. When you're doing your walk, I want you to walk with your arms swinging. It doesn't have to be fast. I just want you to walk with your arms swinging. And the posture walk, because we're incorporating a move and then a little bit of a walk and a move and a walk, go ahead and you can set your own time like so many paces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, stop and do a posture move. Or maybe just one little section inside of your house. You don't even have to go outside to do this. But let's get busy. And what the idea here is, is that we're walking. And if you tell yourself, well, I want to have good posture while I'm walking, and then you start thinking about the grandkids or that the dog decided that it was going to chew up your slippers. Then of course, pretty soon, down goes the head and you're thinking and your arms are down at your side and you're walking. So we incorporate a move and for that 10 or 15 minutes that you're going to be doing your posture walk, then you completely get that posture more upright. And when the posture is upright, you're better balanced you're also not going to notice so much pain in your shoulders and the back of your neck. Okay, we're going to start the posture walk by uh, doing, just uh, think about your collarbones and that somebody's pulling up on your collarbones. And I'm going to try and do this sideways to you so that you can see what's happening. Somebody's just pulling up like I've got hooks on my collarbones and I'm not looking up real high, but as they pull my collarbones up, my shoulders come back and a pull and you'll do a few of those and then you're going to start doing your posture walk so I'm going to walk out here and then I'll walk with my arms swinging just like you're going to be doing and then we're going to stop now what we're going to do is crack a walnut you've heard this one before if you've ever seen any of my videos I put it into almost everything because I think that it's one of the best posture exercises a person can do you can even do it in the grocery store Crack a walnut between your shoulder blades. Look what happens to your body when you do that. Don't crack hard. Just easily crack that walnut. Every time you see yourself in the mirror, crack a walnut. When you're sitting there watching TV and your neck starts to hurt, crack a walnut. And when you're walking, crack a walnut and do the posture walk. And around we go. I'm doing a little figure eight here, and so that's going to be my set area. Now we're going to do crack a walnut two, and we're not going to use the shoulder blades, but if you were kind of slumped over here and you cracked it between your buttocks, yeah, I know, I know, I know. It takes those hips. I crack, the hips automatically come forward. Now you could see my arms were rounded when I was doing that because I don't want my arms in the road of you seeing what happens when you crack a walnut. You put the two of them together and you have a real good posture before you start walking again. Remember we're not walking for aerobic work. We are walking for something to keep us upright and remind us how we should feel when we're walking with good posture. Our sun salutation, we just kind of look our face up and the arms are dropped to the side. Do this slowly, palms forward, looking slightly up. It's kind of like cracking the walnut, but instead just think about pushing your hands back a little bit. Instead of concentrating on the shoulders, concentrate on the hands being open, the head is up, and go into your walk. And around we come on the hip parade in order to do the second sun salutation. And with that one, we're starting to add the arms where before everything was just kind of with the shoulders. Now we're going to take the hands up. So 
Take the hands up, arch back just slightly. Watch your hands go up and put your palms up toward the sun. Drop. Do it again. What happens when you take both hands up like this, I'm going to put my hand down here. Look how it bunches right there, right behind my head. And it helps, that, that muscle bunching kind of helps keep your head from lolling back so instead of just dropping your head back like this. So about four of those, nice and slow. And that's going to help pull that whole torso upright as well. Now we're going to, doing the arms, we're going to go one arm up and one arm down, and then we're going to change. Now, when you're doing this, I'm going to stand sideways. You don't want to be leaning forward doing this. You want to think about just taking your hand and putting it up right next to your ear. And then as you drop, whichever shoulder you're dropping, let it really drop so that you have this going on. Watch my shoulders. One drops as the other goes up. Again, up by the ear. And you can see I have to let my body wiggle just a little bit with that one in order to accommodate that. And back to the walk. You might be starting to feel your shoulders just a little bit, and if you are, you can give them a wiggle. Now we're going to do a head support. And with the head support, you can support, remember we just talked about that head going backward with no muscle bunching. If you have one arm holding your head up as you put the palm up to the sky, then you have support for the head. But what happens here is that we have one shoulder back and one shoulder forward. Where we had this going on, now we have this going on because we have this shoulder forward, this shoulder back, and then we change and push the palm up. As, you do, as I do this, watch how my elbow goes back on the supporting arm. Okay, again, we're going to walk. Ooh, and I'm going to go around walking because my little area is a little bit on the boring side. Now, we're going to finish with a back stroke on one side. And when you do the back stroke, the thumb actually comes up and the pinky goes in. And that rolls your shoulder properly for a back stroke. So you do a few on one side, thumb up, pinky in on the other side. And now that you've had all of your instruction, let's see if we have enough time to put it all together. Here we go. Let's pull the collarbones up, pull the collarbones up, and two, three, that's three, can't count, and four, I think I'll walk differently this time, everybody walk, use the arms, use the arms. You can see I didn't even use my arms when I was trying to talk to you during the walk. Now the walnut, crack the walnut between the shoulder blades. Two, three, four. Everybody walk. Arms, head up, head up. Keep that head up. Looking straight forward. Walnut two, between the buttocks, between the buttocks and three, and four, here we go, da, da, da. you know, I could have put music here, but then I'm restricted by the beat, we don't want to do that, sun salutation one, with the palms, and the head up, and two, and three, think about your hands, and four, and good posture, nice and tall. Get those arms going. Sun salutation, get to see the stomach hang out here. And again. And again. And the fourth time. And the walk. And we're back. 
and one up, one down, up by the ear, and two, and three, and four, and here we go, again, nice walk, not too fast, lots of control, the head support, hand behind, palm up, and change, and two, and three, and four, and you know what to do. I bet you're getting this down by now, aren't you? That's good because we're just about to finish with the back stroke, one arm. See how I'm turning my body with it. And other arm. Almost done. Go ahead and shake it out. And now, why don't you just keep walking? Join me on Facebook. You're going to be able to find a list of these so that you can have them written down. And you can just hit the button, and you know, the left button, and you blew out everything. And then you hit the right button, click copy, go to a document, click, put in paste, paste it in, and then you have it on a piece of paper. I have lots of notes. I have lots of exercises for Parkinson's specific exercises. So join me.